Hey, what's up guys? This is Pale right here and today we're gonna see how effective the T40 Armada reactive system is. Today we will be uh, like testing out the system, throwing missiles into the tank and see how it reacts to the to the actual threat, you know? We'll be doing crazy tests right here. You can see right there all the sensors of the system it literally works like when a piece of metal goes through the blue lines like the sensors uh, it will send like a micro shell right there as you can see there are like five or six micro shell right there and then it will like blow up the missile or whatever is coming to the to the radius or the area of the tank okay let's try a uh, what will happen if we blow a tank like close to the sensors? The all the parts of the tanks like will blow into the blow away into the sensor stone. We'll see right there how the system works. Like this is an example. So you can see right there. Okay, first shot was was uh, close miss. Okay, here's the second. I think this one will explode all the tank away and it will throw it to the sensors Let's see what happened yeah right in the middle of the tank all the parts are going to the sensor zone we can see right there the micro shells I think they're gonna start going up yeah there is one there are like yeah there it goes, the micro shell is going to destroy the turret. It's like the, the system detects that it's a threat for the tank. It goes to the turret and it destroys it. Like, he didn't even, he didn't give a chance for the whatever is coming. Well, you see right there, other pieces of the tank, all their micro shell is sanded. It shows like a firewall. Like it's a, uh, it's a firewall that uh, don't get don't give a chance of for the missiles and, and parts or something like it's coming to the tank blow the tank itself. Okay, let's try with a BMP2 missile. I don't I think that it won't work because the missile is like too fast. You can see right there it's very fast and the sensors won't have the the reaction to send the micro shells so, so the micro shells will be so late well as you can see right there it had a serious impact the system didn't work out yeah when it's too fast like when it's too fast it won't work like, as you can see right there also obviously it won't work with a uh, normal shells uh, of tanks like the ammunition like sabots and something that stuff it won't work okay let's see if uh, a very high shell of very high millimeter shell of the pion can be stopped it's fast also but i think it has a chance for the system to stop it okay now it passed away but the micro shell was sending thing that uh, can tell us like the system uh, has been engaged, you know, the sensors take it, the, took the, the signal of the missile and it sent it the micro shell, but too late. The shell of the pion is too fast. Okay, let's try the real purpose for this system. Normal missiles, well, anti-tank missiles, okay. It sends the micro shell right there. Sooner or late, or it worked nice. It worked perfect. As you can see right there is a missile anti-tank. Uh, uh, you know, well, that's a an anti-aircraft missile. But I have I I've been curious to try it. What will happen is we shoot it. The tank. I think it's too fast. Yeah, it's too fast. Very very fast. I think. So, nah, the tank didn't even have, have a chance, but yeah, it's for anti-aircraft, I, I wanted to try. 
There he goes to me, settle. Okay, javelin. Let's try with the javelin. This is another. Uh, uh, this is also a weapon that was uh, for the system. Like the system was created for this type of weapons, like anti tank missiles and that stuff. The system was actually created. Actually, it works pretty well with the javelin because it's a big, heavy, and a slow missile you can see right there and the system have uh, enough response time to to actually knock out the missile and blow it up before it reaches to the tank you see right there yeah. pretty nice it works actually nice okay let's try the armor of the tank itself let's fire a shell of a leopard 2a5 and let's see if it detects the system. Nah, I don't know. Nah, even even it didn't literally detect it. It's like too fast. It's a shell. What do you want it to do? Only it can detect missiles and that stuff and slow things. I think that planes in this game, yeah, aircraft in this game will literally blow away if they approximate to the tank, you know, because they're slow and big. Real life, it won't happen. Okay, yeah, the armor of the tank is also pretty strong. You see right there, very hard armor. One thing I don't like is that the cannon of the armada is like slow. It it sends the shell pretty slow. I mean, you need to take a lot of angle. Yeah, you see right there, it landed, but the shell is pretty strong. As you can see right there, it blowed up the tank by the floor, but you need to handle a, a lot to to reach the, your target. Okay, RPG test. RPG seven. Yeah, it blows up the RPG also. Slow and big. Well, not too big, but it actually disassembled the projectile. You know, it makes like a firewall and it disassembles or explodes the, any explosive that is coming to reach out the tank. You know. Okay, there's a second RPG. Well, this one reached out, but it didn't make two damage. Let's see if the Theus can make something. Obviously, not, obviously not for the system because the system is literally not going to see nothing. It's literally nothing. So let's see. Well, the driver actually died by the by the trapdoor. It's literally uh, too simple to the for the design, it actually doesn't happen something very serious to the tank, you see right there, okay, there it goes, nothing happens, only the driver, the driver died right there, but that's a design thing, you know, okay, let's try what would happen if a entry aircraft gun hits it, obviously it's not going to detect the system, okay, the first was, the first was a miss, but Obviously, it's not going to detect the the shell of the anti-aircraft gun because it's too fast for the, for the system. Right there. Well, it sent the ch the shell. I don't know how it sent the micro shell, but it didn't. It, too late, you know. It sent it too late. Oh, the third one actually hit the tank. And exploded in, inside the armor. Okay, let's make a howitzer test. There you go, the howitzer passed away, but the micro shell was sent, so the system actually recognized the the shell of the howitzer, as you can see right there. I think that it's pretty much okay. The the shells of the cannon are pretty fast, and they're difficult to to the system to recognize. You know. Okay, it sends the shell another time, but Obviously, the shell passed away. The howitzer shell passed away. Can't do anything with that. Well, let's try, let's try another one to the tank. This time, let's see if the armor can stop it. There it goes. Well, little damage, but not too much. This is a, a like a micro scale Yamato in the game. Look what it does. It's like crazy. I don't know. It has like six cannon and it's like a micro uh, a micro scale. 
and it works perfectly as you can see right there it blow it out the tank oh shit this time I, I like pressed a lot of times the uh, the cannon button and it like literally send it uh, like uh, 500 shots I don't know but well the, the boat actually exploded by the shockwave of the this okay the flying tank this is the flying tank test I think the flying tank is going to be blown up in pieces I think because it's slow and pretty much he heavier okay you can see literally the tank was annihilated literally literally disappeared the tank disappears okay let's try with normal flying yep not exist anymore there you go okay actually let's see several tanks several tanks like send i don't know what's going to happen okay there's first one and i think that he ran out of shells right there yeah it ran out of micro shells that's bad okay now they got oh dude the, the, the crew literally have been like stabbed by the cannon of the tank trespassed of the cannon Ooh. that was creepy as fuck man look at that well it works perfect it works perfect for this kind of flying tanks i don't know <laughs> why in, in what uh, context they're gonna use flying tanks but it works properly okay 240 millimeter gun versus the tank is literally going to blow up in 150,000 pieces but let's see what happens this is the reload system there you go and fire i think it won't take the shell even but this is big the shell as you can see right there it has a chance for detecting ah first one is miss let's try the second one actually sorry, the, the tank is going to blow up okay i, I like this building it's like perfect Reloading system stuff. Okay, it's reloading. There it goes. Three, two, one. Shut. Okay, go straight to the tank. Oh shit! Right in the. Bro, oh shit! The tank, the tank got literally disappeared. The tank disappeared right there. So guys, that was all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. It will help me a lot to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And as I always say, thanks for being here and welcome to my channel. You can see other videos of my channel that are also interesting. And goodbye and thanks for being here.